G'day, today I'm going to show you how to make a connection box for your Makey Makey. You'll need a box, some thin wire, some banana plug sockets. I chose this particular type because they have a conductive top on them. Some alligator clips. And you'll also need a soldering iron and a bit of solder as well. The first thing you'll need to do is to mark out the top of your box. I drew a little grid on there to help me and then just marked the points on with the texture. Find the right size drill to match your banana plugs and drill out the top of the box. Next you'll have to screw in all your banana plug sockets. I've chosen to keep my keyboard characters on the left hand side and my mouse movements and clicks on the right hand side. When you screw them in make sure none of the contacts are touching each other. Using a soldering iron, connect a wire to each one of the banana plug terminals and trim off any excess. When you finish soldering, you should end up with something like this. It's a good idea to leave plenty of length on your wires. This will make it easier to put in the box later. Mine are a little bit short. I bought about 3 metres of wire and started running out, so you'll need about 4 or 5 metres to do the job properly. You'll need to tin the end of the wires so they don't fray when you stick them into the terminal. Just twist the wire together, then run some solder down it. Trim the wire down to a nice length so you don't have excess copper sticking out of the terminal. Plug each wire into its corresponding terminal. You can simply push the tinned wires into the socket. Use alligator clips for the space bar, arrow keys and the earth. Drill a small hole on the join between the box and the lid. This will be used for the USB to go through later. So this is it when it's basically finished. I've got all the connections on. You can secure the Makey Makey into the bottom of the box using a piece of double sided tape or a couple of screws. That's basically it. Put the Makey Makey and all the wires into the box. Be careful not to pinch the wires when you screw the lid on. When you're choosing the size of the box, make sure you allow enough room for the USB plug. The plug's almost half again the size of the Makey and mine only just fits. This is the finished product. I was going to put an LED on the top so you could tell if it was on, but it turns out you can see the light through the banana plugs anyway. Let's have a go. So there you have it, a nice convenient way to use and look after your Makey Makey. Notice that we didn't solder anything to the board or change it in any way, so you can simply take it out and use it just how it was.